I'm Principal Mark J. Mayberry, and I am November Superhero. Well, first and foremost, our motto is excellence is our only option. I'm from this community. I, I grew up here, uh, and so I see some of the students experiencing some of the same challenges that I experienced. So it's very natural for me to speak about it because it's part of my experience as well. Uh, I just remember my senior year uh, being a very difficult year for me as a, as a high school student. And uh, it was the relationship with my counselor that I think really set me on track. And I remember my counselor pulling me in and saying, okay, Mayberry, the rubber's meeting the road now. What are you going to do? What's your plan? It was his commitment. It was his commitment. Mr. Stevens had a commitment to my success and he wasn't budging. He was non-negotiable about my success. And uh, those are some of the principles I want to bring to my leadership role here. It being non-negotiable about student success because students can change in a day. They can make the decision, I want to become successful and it can change their behavior. I know that can happen because I'm a living example of that. The reason why I feel like I could trust Dr. Mayberry because since I met him or let alone sat down with him, he been here and I noticed different colleges come in, grants, executives and people out of the state coming to see us and shaking our hands and getting to sit down and talk to us. One thing I want to major in is business, so I want to shake them type of hands. I want to get to know them people. I want them people to be in my circle, who I want to be around, so yes. I've seen them become, students become more motivated every day about higher education because they see universities in the building. What I've seen is a spike in interest, in interest and also in preparation of students wanting to be prepared for the college entrance exam, wanting to visit universities, and those are some of the changes I've seen in the culture in a very short period of time that I know ensures our success as a high school. But what we've been able to do through the EAA platform is to be able to meet students at their level of need and then build upon that, knowing that students may come with different levels of proficiency. The EAA model is allowing them, allowing us to help them to, to grow and become more proficient at their own pace. I feel that my pathway have changed and my mindset have changed too from last year. The reason why I think it's different is because me making this decision, one, for myself, and me making, growing up and understanding that life is not a game and if I don't take education serious, and plus I would be the first one out of my whole family to graduate from college and understanding if you train up a child and you teach the child the proper ways that, to grow. You, you teach them the proper modes of behavior. You teach them the proper instructions, what they need to know. When they grow, they won't depart from it. They will flourish. They will flourish. And that's what we're seeing here at Henry Ford. And that's what we want to continue to see. Henry Ford, clap. Henry Ford, clap.